Episode 1 The Ship On October 19, 1899, the steamship Kerberos is sailing from England to New York City. Then we are shown, Maura Franklin. She is in the mental hospital and is shouting at her father. She is saying that my brother had come to know what had happened on that ship. What have you done to my brother? I am not insane. Then they drag her to room 1011. Maura wake up and it was a dream. A newspaper is lying near her in which it is written that four months earlier, Prometheus disappeared without a trace on the same route. She also has a letter from her brother stating that I know what our father did. Come and meet me in New York and don't trust anyone. Mora is looking for her brother. Here we notice that Mora is staying in room 1011 only. Whereas in the lower part it is shown that the workers were working. The same talks are going on between them that how the Prometheus ship suddenly disappeared. There were talks about Prometheus' ship on the ship because at present the Kerberos ship traveling in it is also from the same company. Ship's first class is shown, and Mora and many of the first class passengers on Kerberos are in the dining room. A lady comes and sits near her, and she gives her opinion about all the passengers sitting. A newly married couple is sitting in front of them. Looking at them it seems that there is no love between them. There is also a Japanese girl and her maid. This lady says that everyone here is running away from something or the other. I think you are also running away from something. Mora has studied doctor in England but in England, women are allowed to study but she cannot practice. Just then their third class passenger Cresta bursts in pleading for a doctor. Because his sister Tove needed help. Cresta is thrown out by Franz. But Mora follows Cresta down into third class. Checks on her sister and she resolved Tove's tangled umbilical cord. Due to this, her pain was reduced. Then that newly married couple is shown and that lady's words were true. Lucian and Clements struggle with intimacy. She encounters Captain Ike, who warns her to follow the ship's rules. After receiving a message of only a set of coordinates presumably from Prometheus, Ike changes the course of the Kerberos to those coordinates. Here those two brothers are also shown who get very upset due to the turning of the ship. All they say is that we cannot go back. Mora comes to meet Captain Ike and asks him the reason for turning the ship. Captain Ike tells her that he is getting coordinates from Prometheus' ship, so maybe that ship is there. But he is still not sure about this thing, for months had passed since the matter had passed. There is a small chance that there would be anyone alive. If the grocery is on their ship, maybe someone would have survived. Captain Ike also had a letter in which it is written, What is lost will be found. When the passengers come to know that the ship has changed its course. So no one is happy there. They say they paid good money to reach New York in seven days. Now we see Olek who used to put coal in the engine. It is his lunchtime when Jerome comes there who is quite nervous. He asks Olek for his bread to eat. And Olek gives him his bread. Mora does not go to eat dinner and is on the deck. Captain Ike told Mora that he heard that she is a doctor. Mora says that rumors spread very quickly. I have heard many rumors about you too. Conversation occurs between them when they saw a ship in front of them. As it approaches, they saw that the ship is completely dark. Because of that darkness, no one is visible on that ship. That's why they shoot the fire gun. In its light, we saw that there is no one on the ship. Those crew members told the captain that they should inform the company first but the captain stops them. He told them to lower a lifeboat. Going there, we have to investigate whether there is anyone on that ship or not. But no one is ready to go there. That's why Captain decides to go there. Mora also wants to go with him. Now the Captain told the rest of the crew members that now you can go and inform the company. Near the lifeboat, they also meet Olek and Jerome. Then the Captain asked them to go along. Only then did crew members say why there is so much peace here. After leaving the ship, it seems that there is definitely something wrong. Ramiro says it seems that death is near and when death is near then the sea comes to know. The captain does not listen to all these things and takes them all toward the ship in the lifeboat. As they are getting closer to that ship, that ship is clearly visible to them. Now it is confirmed that this is Prometheus' ship. Coordinates stop coming as soon as they reach the ship. They think that they may have seen us. Captain arrives in Prometheus' ship with his men. The condition of ship had become completely barren. All the stuff inside had been destroyed. The silence here is saying a lot. Then we see that one of the two brothers whose name is Angel, Cresta asks him to smoke a cigarette. Angel smokes himself before giving him a cigarette, 
and then gives it to him, but Cresta says nothing to him. Angel takes an interest in Cresta. Then the Japanese girl is shown, and we come to know that they are mother and daughter and are pretending to be Japanese. Both of them were also hiding something big. A mysterious man boards Kerberos and moves into the room next to Morris. On Prometheus, Ike finds a strange hairband and discovers that the telegraph is destroyed. So where did the coordinates come from? Even after the men investigate, they do not find anyone. According to him, there must have been someone on the ship because someone had definitely sent the coordinate from this ship. Mora follows a scarab beetle to a cabinet. Then there is a sound of knocking from the cabinet. Everyone refuses to open it. But when she opens it finds a boy. Everyone gets surprised to see him because there is no one on that ship. So how did he survive alone? That child comes out and hands her a black tetrahedron object. Here on Captain's ship, we would see a man named Daniel who is completely drenched. He opens his palm and a green-colored beetle comes out of it, goes inside his room and opens the door of his room. Episode 2 The Boy Captain Ike has a dream that he is in the woods, and he can hear the sound of a child singing. Following that voice, he sees a house and two people standing in it. Suddenly that house catches fire and after this Ike wakes up from his dream. Mora houses the boy, the only person discovered on Prometheus, in her room. Only then did the crew members come to call the captain and say that they had contacted the company. They receive a message from the shipping company reading only two words, sink ship. He also tells that ever since those people came here, their compass is also not working. Every compass present in the ship is just spinning fast. Olek is shown in the lower part of the ship working. His friends were asking how only a child was found in Prometheus ship. Everyone on the ship was worried that there were too many people aboard the Prometheus ship, but none was found. Only then Captain comes there looking for Olek and tells him to find out how much more coal is left here. Saying to keep this a secret, the Captain leaves from there. Then he meets Mora and asks if that child told her anything about what happened in Prometheus ship. Mora says that he hasn't told anything yet. He hears a humming sound over there, which was heard only by the Captain and not Mora. And here in third class, we see Crestus' little sister Ada helping him take a shower, telling him that when she reaches home, she will become a doctor after studying because she wanted to be like Mora. But her brother scolds her and says you just play with your doll, stop dreaming all this. Actually, Crestus' parents were very religious. They always talk superstitiously, due to which even Crestus was troubled. His sister gets angry at his shouting and leaves from there. Angel comes there after Ada leaves. Angel gives Cresta a cigarette tin and tells I want you to keep it. Then Tove comes there after Angel leaves, and Tove asks him who he was. Cresta says I don't know him. A man was standing outside Mora's room. He asks if this is her room. Someone's voice was coming from your room. Mora says I have seen you somewhere before but he says we have never met before. Then the mysterious man introduces himself to Mora as Daniel, and then went inside. Mora tries to feed Elliot but he does not eat anything. Looking at his face, it seemed very sad. Mora asks him what happened on that ship, but this time also she does not get any answer. Looking ahead, Lucian comes to Lingyi and asks what do you think happened to them, but Lingyi doesn't give him any answer. She leaves there with mom. There we also see the lady who was keeping an eye on Lingyi and Lucian. Jerome breaks into Lucian and Clement's room and leaves a Legion of Honor medal. In the meantime cabin, there is talk about the captain as the captain had not given any order yet. He had also received the message, sink ship, from the company. He says that captain cannot do anything now. He connects everything to his past. Captain Ike starts hearing the same tune again, so he follows it and comes inside a room. Captain Ike has hallucinations of his wife and daughters, who died in a house fire some years ago. One of his daughters wears the same hairband found on Prometheus. Her elder daughter says that when you leave, the mother gets very upset. I also told her to let you go. You like the sea more than the land. Captain Ike hugs his daughter and tells her that I miss her a lot. Then there is fire again and Ike realizes that it is an illusion. But the strange thing was that even after getting off the illusion, he was still inside the broken room. He can also see the stairs in that room. By climbing it he reaches his room. It was very surprising that he is the captain of this ship, and he knows every corner of this ship. But he did not know that there is a secret room under his bed. 
Mora is trying to talk to Elliot. She tells him that in her childhood her father had left her alone at a place. Doing this shows what kind of person you are. She discovers a ring in his possession and a symbol of an upside-down triangle with a horizontal line behind his left ear. When she asks him about the symbol, the child grabs her hand and signals her to keep quiet. Only then the captain comes there and starts asking Elliot forcefully. After all, what happened in Prometheus' ship? Mora stops him and brings him outside the room. The captain tells her that something strange must have happened on that ship. He heard his daughter's voice on that ship and he saw her even though she is dead. Jerome comes to talk to Clements. Clements says to him that no one should ever be judged by his appearance. And I think you must have judged me by looking at me. When Jerome introduces himself, Clements thinks she's seen him somewhere before. Due to this, she gets scared and starts leaving from there. The guards begin to apprehend him as Jerome is discovered to be a stowaway and subdued. He had stolen and worn the uniform of a crew member. They catch him and lock him in a room. Now in the third class, Cresta was looking at the same cigarette tin. Tove goes there and asks him whether he has given you this cigarette tin. You know that rich people never give anything for free. He has given this to you. It means he must want something from you too. Mora shows Elliot a letter bearing the same triangle symbol that led her to board the ship, but he remains mute. Captain Ike again goes to the secret room in his room. But this time when he comes down, there was a wall all around. Just then Oleg shows up at his door. He informs Captain Ike that about 3,000 tons of coal are left. He asks him when will we walk on our way again. Captain Ike doesn't answer him and goes inside. Tove finds the cigarette tin and angrily returns it to Angel. Angel and Ramiro have an argument which leads to them having sex. Now we know the secret between Angel and Ramiro. Actually, Ramiro is not a priest and neither are they brothers. He is a servant of Angel as well as there is a physical relationship between the two. Everyone gathers in the hall. The captain tells them that he is taking the Prometheus ship with him to Europe again. Those people are now going back to Europe, not New York. Because they don't have that much stuff and don't even have coal. It will need more power to take back the Prometheus ship. They are not too far away from Europe, so it would be right for them to return to Europe. This decision is not accepted by all the passengers because everyone wants to reach New York as soon as possible. They ask the captain why to save this barren ship. Captain Ike does not give any answer to this, and he comes out. Mora follows him and tells him that she can't go back. Captain Ike says that the company is hiding something from us. Why did the company ask to sink the ship which was missing for four months suddenly when it was found? When I left, someone kept this letter in my luggage. What does my family have to do with Prometheus' ship? And now my decision will not change at all. When all the passengers are in the hall, Daniel takes advantage of this. He finds Crestus' younger sister Ada alone and kills her. There the crew members find Ada's dead body. At the end of the episode, we see Mora's photo on Daniel's hand.